Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the GPT Playground. You might have used the actual chat functionality in GPT, but the Playground lets you do a lot more than just chat with GTP. You can help, you can customize your own models, customize the length of the output and a lot of cool stuff. There's these cool presets that are built in. Let's look at the Q&A one. So this is training GPT how to answer questions and answers. For mode option here, you see there's a, a couple options. For the most part, you're gonna use complete and chat. The model lets you choose which GPT model you wanna use. As of now, GPT-3 is in the playground, but four is being released. It's not here yet. Temperature lets you control the randomness and kind of the creativity of GPT. If the temperature is zero, it's gonna be more straightforward, more direct, as some of these answers are. If you increase this, it's gonna get a little bit more creative. Maximum length is pretty straightforward. That's the amount of characters and the response. So in this case, it's measured by a unit called tokens. And one token is about four English characters. And so we'll do a quick demonstration. I'm gonna ask GPT, where is New York City located? And pretty straightforward, pretty direct answer. New York City is located in the state of New York. And I want a little bit more variance, so I'm gonna turn this up and I want a little bit more length. I'm gonna add GPT. What are some activities to do in New York City? And we should get a longer answer. And there we go, we got a bit more of a longer answer. Stop sequences pretty much tells us where things are gonna stop. Top P lets us add more diversity into our words. So if there's more repetitive words, it'll remove it. And so one's the highest number. And frequency penalty is very similar to top P. It lets us remove more repetitive words and so on. Um, presence penalty lets us remove repetitive topics. Um, and then best of behind the scenes, GPT might generate say three answers for where New York City is located and based on these different options, we'll choose the best one of those three answers. Inject star text is pretty straightforward. That's in this case, we're using A for the symbol of where to start GPT's response. And the restart text, in this case, we're using Q. When GPT's finished responding, what do we want the, the input to be? And in this case, we start with Q to know where to enter the input. Show probabilities. It's just another option in the playground. It kind of lets us see behind the scenes how GPT is thinking about which word to generate. So if it's like the fox jumped over the fence, maybe behind the scenes GPT is thinking, the fox walks, the fox runs, okay, the fox jumps. That's the best probable option. And the cool thing is you can save this preset. And if you're a developer, you hit view code you can choose your language and you'll have this ready to go. You just copy and paste this in your code and you can start working with GPT right away. And we'll go over that in the next lesson. But now for some cooler stuff, we're gonna explore the chat feature. Now we're gonna test something interesting. We're gonna test how would Steve Jobs build something if he was alive today? And I'll let the system know, okay. Steve Jobs, creator of Apple and a visionary founder. And so behind the scenes, GPT will look up Jobs and how he would answer questions and think about certain topics. And so let's ask it, how would you build a rocket Ships and Mars. I'm going to hit submit. And you see it knows that Steve Jobs is not an aerospace engineer, so it tells us that. And 
And because we have, we've increased our max length, it gives us a length gear response. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And then I'm going to ask Steve Jobs, how will you build an AI system today? The Apple way. Hit submit. And let's see what it gives us. So notice it gives us only four paragraphs. And it thinks through all, all the different aspects, particularly ethical and moral principles, things that Apple really think about. Is there a benefit for humanity? This is pretty cool. What I want you to do is I want you to make your own AI bot. It could be anything or anyone and just ask it questions and answers and you know, take a screenshot and drop it in the showcase channel in our discord.